Welcome to BTEC Revision. In today's lesson, we're looking at BH curves and hysteresis loops. By the end, we should be able to explain BH curves and hysteresis loops. How does magnetic field strength affect magnetic flux density? A BH curve can be used. It is a graphical representation of the magnetic flux density and magnetic field strength. What are BH curves and why are they curved? As the name suggests, the lines produced by this graph is curved. And the reason is because of the permeability, if you remember from our previous lessons. And this permeability decreases as the magnetic field strength increases. Here on the right side, we have the graph showing you the BH curves for three materials. Firstly, we have a sheet of steel, and then we have cast steel and cast iron. And looking at the patterns shown in the graph, we can see that as the magnetic field strength increases, there is a large increase in the magnetic flux density. And the rate of increase in the magnetic flux density is then reduced and plateaus, which means that it stabilizes and becomes horizontal. And therefore, this reaches something called magnetic saturation. Magnetic saturation is when increasing the magnetic field strength has no more effect or negligible effect on magnetic flux density. Next, we can look at what a hysteresis loop is. And looking at the graph on the right side, we can see we have extended our graph into the negative quadrants. And the negative regions just represent the opposite direction for these values. Starting with the dashed line in the graph, this is showing you a typical BH curve. And as before, as we increase the magnetic field strength following this graph, we reach the saturation point. And as we reduce the magnetic field strength, H, we can go along this line and we would reach the point at which H is equal to zero. But as you can see, there is still some magnetic flux density of B remaining. And this is known as the retained flux. Next, we can look at reversing the H value here, the magnetic field strength. So you can see in this region on the graph, we have the negative region, so negative H, which just represents H applied in the opposite direction. And when this applied magnetic field strength is reversed, this flux then reduces back down to zero. So you can see, carrying on following the line on the graph, and you can reach this point. This point is known as the point of coercivity. The coercivity of the material is the amount of magnetic field strength required to eliminate this retained flux. And if we carry on increasing that magnetic field strength, we can see we would reach the end, which is another saturation point. But this would be in the opposite direction. And finally, we can reverse the magnetic field strength again, and we would reach the same pattern going all the way back, and a loop is created. This loop is known as the hysteresis loop. How is the BH curve useful? Well, the area inside this loop, as we can see in this region, that I'm shading in, this whole area is proportional to the energy lost by the system. And in systems such as AC transformers, a material with a narrow hysteresis loop is going to reduce the energy loss and therefore reduce overheating. Now pause the video here and attempt this exam question. Explain what a BH curve is and the relationship between the magnetic flux density and the magnetic field strength. A BH curve is a graphical representation of how the magnetic flux density in a material responds to the changes in the magnetic field strength. It illustrates the material's magnetization characteristics and the curve shows the relationship between B and H. 
showing how the flux density changes as the magnetic field strength varies. This graphical representation helps in understanding the magnetic behavior of materials, particularly in terms of saturation, coercivity, and hysteresis. And that's the end of the lesson. If you'd like to boost your grades, visit us at btechrevision.com. See you next lesson.